Last autumn, I took a trip to England and had the opportunity to travel with a Fujifilm X100F camera. Today, I want to share my experience and show some of the photos from that trip. Also, I should mention that although I do photography for a living, by the way, I won't be using term professional photographer again as last time, it seems that the word professional offended some people. But what I mean is I'm not exactly a pro when it comes to street photography. I'm still learning the ropes, so please don't be too harsh if you see any mistakes. That being said, I would really appreciate if you could share some tips and tricks with me. I'm all ears. On my trip, I decided to visit Liverpool. I had lived in London in the past and had visited the city several times. So this time I wanted to explore other cities in England. I picked Liverpool because, well, there are only two reasons why someone might visit Liverpool. Either you love Liverpool Football Club or the Beatles music band. In my case, it was the second reason. Tell me in the comments uh, what reason would be visit Liverpool for you. I arrived in Liverpool very late at night, so my exploration began the next morning. I left my apartment already with the Fuji camera around my neck and started taking pictures. I like taking street photos after it rains because the water on the roads gives a nice shine that makes the images stand out more. So I think one of the best conditions for street photography would be overcast after it rains. After delicious breakfast, I decided to go to Albert Docks, a not so old hipster area in town that used to be for operating boats in the past. There is a famous Beatles Story Museum and it was my first stop. I spent nearly an hour in the museum with the audio guide and it was nice to learn new details about the band and to see recreations of some iconic places that were associated with the band. If you ever visit Liverpool, I definitely recommend visiting the Beatles Story Museum. Then I decided to walk through Albert Docks towards the Liverpool Museum. By that time the clouds began to gather and it started pouring rain. So I had to take shelter in the Liverpool Museum and wait for the rain to stop. It was a nice bonus that the Liverpool Museum is free to enter, but they do ask for donations to keep the museum running. To be honest, I am not a big fan of museums, as for me the streets of the cities are much more interesting and that's where I spend the majority of my time during these types of trips. Next to the Liverpool Museum there is a beautiful architectural ensemble and one of the buildings was used in a new movie about Batman. Also there you can find a statue of the Beatles that was surrounded by people who wanted to take a picture with it. After this little exploration, I headed back to my apartment to rest and on the way I took some more pictures of the street. I must mention that the Fujifilm camera was easy to use. It was compact and light, so whenever I saw something interesting, I would grab the camera and take a picture. 
I also used the digital zoom function from time to time. After some rest, I went on a second round around the city. It was more crowded than it was in the morning. I was heading towards the city cathedral as I read that it is one of, if not the biggest cathedral in Europe. The architect who submitted this project was only 22 years old. Although constructions of the cathedral took nearly half a century to complete, it is also a must-see destination to see what a young mind is capable of achieving. Although when architect achieved the finished building, he was already old. Also, near cathedral is Chinatown, which I wanted to visit. However, let's just say it's only in name, as it was completely empty, whereas in London it is always crowded and a fun place to visit. After that, I was pretty much exhausted and had been slowly making my way back to the apartment, still wandering a bit. To sum up, I enjoyed Liverpool as a city. It has a nice feeling to it. It's clean enough and the only thing I didn't like was that my apartment was on the corner of a nightclub area, so I had to sleep with loud music outside the window. My advice to you would be if you plan to visit another city and rent an apartment in the city center, make sure there isn't any nightclubs nearby. I must say it was fun shooting with X100F, especially when film simulation is applied, I can later just transfer images to my iPhone and just tweak basic settings a bit with Photos app. Didn't need any other more complex edits in other app. Also I noticed as at the time being in England, I had no plans in making YouTube videos, so I shot mostly vertical pictures because of Instagram would be the place where to share. So now I think I would need to mix it more and do more horizontal shots as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or leave a comment. Let me know what do you think about my captured moments from Liverpool and whether you would like to see pictures from the rest of the trip in other cities. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. Have a nice day and keep shooting!